Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. There is nothing like fresh peas in the spring for me. I look for them either in my garden or at the farm next door. But as you can see, okay, on the wrong part of the peas, on top here, where it goes down, that's where you press. You put your thumb there and you open it. And as you can see, this is full of beautiful peas. And I put the thing. Then this is smaller. I do it again, and as you can see, those are much smaller, and those are younger peas and probably more tender and sweet than the other one. But it's mixed. So what they do, I've been told, they take the peas and they can put them, I think, in, a, in a, some type of a water bath uh, uh, with salt, and it separates those big ones. You see the thicker one like that are higher in starch than the small one, and the small one go to the top, the small one to the bottom. So even if you don't have fresh peas, when you go to the market, see, this is the tiny one. When you go to the market, you, you buy the baby, the baby peas, you know, I mean, as opposed from one to the other, as you can see, there is a difference. They both are absolutely delicious here, but uh, the small ones are really a little more sweet. Here is again, bigger one. So we use them, and often I use that also to make a soup. But this now, peas, interestingly enough, one pound of peas like that will give you half and half, basically half and half, half peas, half the pad, the shell. So what we do here, I'm gonna put that in there, about a, a third of a cup of water, a good third of a cup of water. Petit pois à la française, French style, we call that. We do it with lettuce, and uh, here I have some iceberg left over, and it's fine. Any type of lettuce will, will work. Coarsely, I have about two cups here of lettuce this way. About half a cup of onion. The classic one is done with tiny boiled onion and Boston lettuce, but this is fine this way. So I will cut my onion very coarsely like this. I would say a good, a good half a cup of onion. Okay, this cooks. You know, the freshest it is just out of the, the garden. It's just like corn, you know, that's when it's the best. So here I will put half a teaspoon of uh, sugar you know, in it, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of, uh, of salt, and some freshly ground pepper. When I have a lot of uh, cooking to do, pepper, what I do very often, I use the spice grinder here and put peppercorn, those are black peppercorn in there, and I go directly uh, this way. And I have freshly ground paper here for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here, my dash of paper. And I will bring it to a boil and boil it like two minutes. And that's it. Now a couple of minutes. Now I'm putting two tablespoons of butter in there. You can put the butter at the beginning or now, it doesn't really matter. And I have a fair amount of a fair amount, some liquid there, and I don't want it to be too thin. That's why I will add a little bit of, a, see I have maybe one tablespoon of water here, and like maybe half a teaspoon, two quarter of a teaspoon of a little bit potato starch or corn starch. I will put that right in the center and it will thicken on contact. That's it. There. I want to test my peas. Mm. They are barely cooked. They were like them. And here we are. Petit pois à la française, you know. French style, happy cooking.